I'm Sophia Vargo, otherwise known as Lazuli. I'm a singer and part-time student at Elliot Kennedy Steelworks Academy. And um, I'm going to talk to you today about my music journey because I think that um, writing songs is beating the sword. I didn't initially think that music was going to be my career. Um, I actually thought that languages were my thing, getting my GCSE Italian at nine. That probably has something to do with the fact that I am half Italian. But eventually I realized that my true calling in life was a universal language, which is music. Um, and at the age of eight, I started playing the violin and I got my first taste of something truly beautiful which is music, which has become my life, and um, I really love it. When I was a little older, I joined um, various orchestras, such as Sheffield Youth Orchestra, and I also played with school bands and went to Barcelona and Belgium with them. And here is a picture of me playing in Bruges. I later joined um, one of the best youth orchestras in the UK called City of Sheffield Youth Orchestra and I travelled um, a little bit around Europe with them and it was then that I played with the world-renowned cellist Natalie Klein who won BBC Young Musician of the Year Award. It was when I was in an orchestra run by the Sheffield Music Service when I realised that I loved to sing. I'd sang along to a few things before, but never really tried properly. But I was told that I had a good voice, so I decided to pursue it and join the school choir. And um, with this orchestra, I did Music for Youth 2012 and 2014. Not only around this time was I playing a lot of classical music, I was also listening to a lot of um, modern music, and I became a regular gig-goer and started going to concerts from the age of about 13. Um, and I also hung around after concerts to meet a lot of the bands and um, found them really inspirational and realised that that's what I wanted to do and I wanted to be on stage. Through the choir, I also ended up singing with Jarvis Cocker, doing some of his backing singing at the Sheffield Dock Fest in 2013. Um, he uh, had written a short film of which, over which he sang. So, And from there, I became a Sheffield Music Young Advisor. Um, and this means attending a monthly meeting um, and putting forward ideas about the way that the Sheffield Music Service should be run. Um, and it was at one of the meetings where I met Elliot Kennedy, who runs uh, the academy that I'm currently at. I then tried to get work experience with uh, Mr. Kennedy. However, I ended up um, getting some work experience with Music in the Round, where I helped out with various events and um, learned more about the Sheffield Music Hub, as well as writing blog posts for them, which uh, eventually helped me because I have a blog as well. Another thing I gained through the music meetings that I attended, which I re previously referred to, was that I met someone that I eventually ended up in a band with, and the band's called Bongo and the Soldier, um, and I do female lead vocals in that. And after performing at pubs and, um, and uh, Peace in the Park, um, I decided that music was what I wanted to do. Um, and then I came across an advert online um, about wanting a fiddle player and backing vocals for an indie folk band called Every Animal on Earth. And with them I learned about the music programming software Logic and music technology. And with them we're in the process of recording an album at the moment. I then heard about Steelworks Academy. I went for a meeting, was instantly taken in by the wonderful things offered. When I first joined, I was really nervous and um, self-conscious about my singing, but since then, my conf confidence has grown enormously. Through the Steelworks Academy, I've done a few photo shoots, which resulted in me in doing some modeling for hair salons and um, for a few photographers, including the esteemed um, Robert Twig, who um, worked with David Bailey back in the 80s. So that was a bit of a privilege. Um, and this is 
um, another picture, and I really do enjoy doing different shoots, and um, I eventually hope to use this modeling to help fund my music stuff. So, yeah, I see it as a bit of an art, really. I don't think that's the right picture, I'm really sorry. But um, recently I've played at West Street Live and um, the Sherlock World Record event in Leeds, but one of my favorite performances was at the Royal Standard Pub. Um, and after I sang there, they put my set list up on the wall. So that was really nice. Oh, and that's the right picture. There we go. Um, sorry about that. Um, every day I go to the academy and I rehearse and write songs. Um, it's so fun. It's completely changed my life. After school every day I run down to the studio and have an amazing time with the great facilities and it's used by celebrities such as Jerry Hallowell and Donny Osmond. In the next few months, I plan on releasing an EP of original songs I've written and I can't wait to do more recording and have some of my own songs released on iTunes and Spotify. You'll be hearing some of my own songs later. Uh, thank you ever so much for listening. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I enjoy every second of what I do, and I really hope you like what I'm doing as well. Sorry about my speech. Thank you ever so much. <laughs>